This is a very serious video, so please make sure to watch until the end to understand the entire situation. So recently, I have received two full strikes from people involved in Guamgo's friend circle in a drastic attempt to try and silence my channel and deplatform me. Keep in mind, if you receive free strikes by YouTube, then your channel gets entirely terminated, and this can result in me losing my livelihood and a significant amount of money. This whole situation has put me through a horrific mental breakdown yesterday, complicated by so idle thoughts, in which people like Guamgo have proceeded to mock and completely make fun of which is disgusting. Keep in mind these users profile pictures in this video will be blurred so they cannot attempt to strike me down again. So this all started with a user called Anabe who is known as Sugio Niku. Now keep in mind this Anabe person is friends with Dupe with Dupe even admitting this himself. And Dupe is involved in friend circles with Guamgo and the entire PRM movement in which is made specifically against me. Now Anabe threatens to essentially full strike my channel and this is the same person who has my docs information to and admitted to this. And on April the 4th, she struck down my Clown Xiao video because I had used Clown Xiao's profile picture for one second. And the thing is, she owned no copyright to the image whatsoever. She lied about being the original artist of Clown Xiao's public profile picture and issued a full strike to try and terminate my channel. Keep in mind, I have no idea how this strike was even allowed to go through and I'm disgusted by YouTube's terrible copyright system. And Anabe even admitted to people that the strike she sent to me was false. Now for those unaware, I had made a video as well on that board gamer, proving how the image he had posted in his document is illegally considered a CP, while also calling him out for having myself images uncensored in his defamatory document on me, as well as addressing and defending myself from other situations he had brought up. Now in the video, I had included 3 seconds of Seb Motions' is That Board Gamer GFX. Seb Motions, for those who don't know, is someone who was 17 years of age and essentially gay-baited a 13-year-old into what the 13-year-old believed to be a legitimate relationship, while behind the scenes snakily making fun of the 13-year-old and bullying them, so he essentially emotionally manipulated a child. Additionally, Seb Motions had also also attempted to defame me as a predator in the past. Now this Seb Motions person is someone who's openly friends with that board gamer on Guamgo, as he is associated in Discord group chats with them too, and is part of the PRM movement against me. And he had basically decided to strike down my entire 52 minute video, which cohesively proved how that board gamer had posted CP, due to having 3 seconds of his public Roblox GFX artwork in it. And keep in mind, the strike he issued to me is entirely false, and my video was completely protected by YouTube's fair use policy policy, as it was a transformative documentary style video essentially criticizing the actions of these terrible people. So now currently I have two illegal full strikes on this channel because I had used already public Roblox GFX images on my channel for merely a couple of seconds, and this was done to silence me and attempt to aid that board gamer because my video had literally systematically proved how he committed a crime of distributing CSEM material of a minor uncensored in his document on page 19. Now after I'd received this strike, I started started feeling extremely unwell physically and mentally and started crying and having a mental breakdown, resulting in me having broken my computer monitor and establishing to my server that I was feeling very suicidal as this could literally result in my entire platform and livelihood being stripped away due to people maliciously using the copyright system to silence me. Now in Guamgo's server, Anabe joined it and started bragging about the entire situation, with even other people in the server encouraging them to issue more full strikes against me, with them stating they already have. Anabe continues by stating that I deserve to be rotting in heck, however eventually she was banned. However, Guamgo decides to mock the situation himself by making fun of the statement I had made, showing my broken computer monitor and stating that I was suicidal by making the caption in response, nah, I'd crash. Now, as my mental breakdown continued, Guamgo continues to post more jokes in the server about my broken monitor, with him also calling me a moron for it too. Guamgo also attempts to try and defend the full strike and legitimize it, despite the fact that when Side Eyes did it to him, he went on Twitter to complain and claim it was full strikes, which is once again a blatant example of Guamgo being overtly hypocritical. He whines when it happens to him, but then when his friends do it to people he doesn't like, he attempts to justify it and defend it. It's disgusting. Now, eventually, people even started to go against Guamgo for making fun of my mental breakdown and spreading misinformation about a serious situation, with a user named Preset stating, but this is someone's life being affected. Put the drama down for a second, with Guamgo simply stating, shut the hell up. In another conversation, Preset states, Palo might be dead, which Guamgo states in response, he refused to get help six months ago. Now I don't care anymore. Now this is extremely disgusting, pathetic, and a huge
putrid response in regards to the horrific mental breakdown I was experiencing yesterday. When someone literally states that I could be dead because I was exhibiting suicidal tendencies, Guamgo states in response that I refused to get help six months ago and he doesn't care about the outcome. That is some of the most disgusting, cold, and emotionless responses I have ever seen. And it's clear Guamgo lacks basic human empathy as well. And when he was told about how this situation clearly reflected how horrible of a human being he was, he attempts to try and pin the blame on me, once again showing how pathetic he is. Now that board gamer also attempts to try and defend the full strike by stating I needed permission to use the image which I had included in my video for merely 3 seconds, despite the fact that I do not and it is entirely in my right to include it in the video under fair use. And of course he is completely hypocritical because he literally used Vellum's art, the Wojak art, in his own videos without Vellum's permission whatsoever. So this is just literally proof of how hypocritical that board gamer and Guamgo are when it comes to defending the immoral actions of Seb Motions. Dupe was even present in Guamgo's server, hinting that there would be a third strike delivered to my channel, literally being completely complicit in the attempted false termination of my entire YouTube channel. Now when I found this out, I obviously knew he was referring to Yaro, so I privated my videos on Yaro so he couldn't strike me down. And then Yaro made a statement in response stating, No way! I tried to strike Palo and he removed his videos. Now this was because Dupe was aiding Yaro behind the scenes, by him stating, All I want to say is I'm still against Palo. I'm the main reason his Discord got banned and one of my friends got him a strike. I just wanted to update you. Yaro states, How many strikes does he have? Dupe states, Two incoming, one resolved. So he currently can't upload for five days as he was striked five days ago. And keep in mind, Yaro is known to have posted CP. So Dupe is working with CP possessors in private to try and get them to illegally force copyright strike my videos to try and silence me. And Dupe is literally a member of the PRM movement and associated with Guamgo and that board gamer. So if this isn't proof that this was all a group effort to try and get me deplatformed and to try and push my mental health lower and lower, then I don't know what is. These people are are horrible terrible people and should not be trusted and until my videos get reinstated you can watch my that board gamer re-uploaded video on my alternate channel in which is on the screen right now so please like and subscribe and help share this video so it can reach as many people as possible because what these people are doing to my channel is completely immoral and disgusting and should be completely disavowed and obviously this video is not intended for cyberbullying hate or harassment this is just an educational video going over the entire situation as a whole thank you for watching goodbye